Yes, guys, just got a new tennis bag. It inspired this video. I will say it cost me an arm and a leg, and I'm wondering what, what have I done spending this much money on this hobby, this sport. Um, I was kind of curious to see how much damage it's done to my pocketbook over the last two years that I've been playing uh, pretty seriously. So this is a tried and true bag check, but with each piece of equipment that we reveal, we're detailing the dollar value that it cost us. Not what an MSRP is for, but what we actually paid for it. Uh, so let me know, the final tally, is that something that's uh, pretty astonishing? It's high, you're wondering what we're doing dumping this much money into the sport? Or is it pretty low considering tennis is a pretty high end sport traditionally and even in 2021 can be um, pretty dang expensive. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see A, the final tally and B, what you guys think of it and how you guys compare. So appreciate you guys watching, like and subscribe. And again, let me know in the comments how we compare to you. Going? Right. First, got Old Faithful, my first real racket, the Wilson Ultra 97. Um, not a great frame, but I like to keep it around to give to friends who don't have rackets when I want to play. Sweet. Let's start off with the Dunlop CX200. Most people buy the bag to match the racket. I had this bag and I bought the racket to match. A little bit of uh, controversy there, but uh, I play tested it for a couple weeks. Great things to say about it. You should give it a shot. Uh, Caleb is once again rigging this competition in his favor. <laughs> he bought a bag and a racket just to beat me. Um, this is the Babylon Pure Arrow 20, 2019. Sweet looking racket. Pretty good frame, got some RPM blast in here. Um, good racket. Technofiber XCC 305. Been my racket of choice for about eight months now. Notable thing is 18 by 19 string pattern and three points headlight, a little bit more weight in the hoop. Crazy good racket. My new stick of choice, the Dunlop SX 200 Tour. 300 Tour. Uh, this thing is a freaking spin monster. I love my slice on it. It's oh so sweet. Moving on to the middle pack. I got some balls. Of course, you can't play the sport without it. I'm going to try these out. Dunlop Grand Prix. Uh, stay tuned for a review, perhaps, in the next couple weeks. Um, the Penn Championship Regular Duty Ball. I have a full case of these, or two, two cases of 12 cans each. Dunlop Ace in a four pack. Only was able to snag these out west in California at Big Five Sporting Goods. So kind of a rare sight on the East Coast, if I do say so myself. Four can, four ball can. Are you a fan of four can balls or three can balls? Let us know in the comments. Um, got another can of balls. I like to keep a couple just in case. Different matches. You never know when you're going to need some. A little bit of warm up equipment, a jump rope, or if you're watching from over the pond, a skip rope. I believe that's what they call it. Weirdos so, over there. So weird. Um, I also have some warm-up equipment. This is really great for my stretches to get my shoulder warmed up. Um, and overall, this is just good for physio and rehab. Makes two of us. Got to get those rotator cuffs warm before you start serving. I've had that. Yeah. And a reflex ball uh, to try to get you quick and light on your toes. It's been months since I've used this. The nipple. <laughs> um, I got my uh, octopus. Trashman Tennis for a YouTube channel. Gotta have some gear with me. He stuff, who knows what that's for. Pretty much worthless. And some towels. Now we're hitting the, in the hot summer, wicked humid. Gotta wipe the sweat off the brow. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I also have towels. The same. We're sponsored by Perrier. <laughs> um, and my, uh, my Wimbledon towel, which is an absolute staple. If this thing ever goes bad, I'm definitely buying a tennis towel from someone else. Cause I actually, it's a must for a tennis bag. Sweet. Sunscreen, 70 SPF. I don't burn, I tan, but for this guy, he can quickly turn into a lobster if he's not careful. Unfortunately, this is probably about three years expired. Placebo effect, folks. He's absolutely right about the, the burning. So why do I have SPF 15? I don't know. <laughs> All right, another marquee element of the tennis bag is the shoes. And I'm rocking these days the Vapor uh, Air Zoom X. A little bit of pain in my Achilles on the left one. I have no idea why, because the right foot feels fine. But I do think they look sweet, and I just suck it up and play through the pain, because it looks that good. Um, I'm a big fan of the white shoe look, and I saw these Yonex uh, Fusion Revs, Eclipsion. 
online and I, I couldn't say no. Uh, I was in the market for some new shoes. These are nice and heavy, um, really good durability so far. My only complaint is that they're, they're a little wide and I've actually felt my, my foot roll onto this part when I'm uh, stretching out wide, but otherwise great shoe. All right, moving on to my hydration station. Got regular H2O with the great value bottle and then a little bit of electrolytes sprinkled in here. Watermelon sugar, baby. Um, keep me going throughout these summer months. Um, summer months, sunshine is a plenty. I got two different visors here, two hats. Um, this is actually a woman's visor. I got it, I thought it would look cool. It wasn't. Um, so I got this sweet Nike hat. Um, I use it all the time actually. And for very practically, I don't think it looks the best, but. Solid, solid purchase. Couple grips in here, Turna, wet tack. I got super sweaty hands. My nickname in high school is the Oyster. It gave me some trouble when wooing woman, but it does <laughs> not give me trouble on the tennis court. Um, I used to be a Gamma Razor Tack guy, but they don't sell them in bulk like I want to get the price discount. So I switched to the also the Turna tack. Um, Got nothing, it's a solid grip. I don't have any complaints about it. Cardboard box, empty. That's because the camera that's filming right now is resting on the octopus that would normally be in here. A little bit of camera equipment. A Nike arm sleeve. Um, I don't wear this too much because I look like a tool, but it's a nice little piece of gear to have around if I ever like need it for a video or something. There's very few that could pull it off, luckily. I am one of them. <laughs> they call it the Nick Curios effect. Um, sweat absorption in the summer is massive. Uh, so I got two wristbands. I got a blue and a, uh, what, what color would you, what would you call it? Coral. This? Coral, yeah. Um, I like the wider wristbands. I'm not, I'm not a narrow wristband guy. Uh, I have coral and blue. What the heck? <laughs> Did we buy wristbands together? I'm afraid so. But I also found this puppy. Uh, Under Armour Black makes me feel like Andy Murray, which is not necessarily a good thing, and I have yet to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> you found it? Yeah. Um, in the way of headbands, I'm an Adidas guy. I've got two Adidas headbands. Um, one of them, this one is like way too long, this alpaca headband. It looks wonky. Um, I like this one a lot more because it's like shorter, it doesn't like flail. But it's the pink is a little hard to match, but I do like that it is reversible. It gives a nice pop of color for some of my blue outfits. Got some more camera equipment in here. Uh, this is the basically the knockoff GoPro box, and it's about to hit the pooter. I'm done with it. Horrible lighting, and I will be update upgrading to a GoPro here very soon. But for now, I'll stuck with this Casa. Um, I got a couple. Thin Nike headbands. These aren't for me. They look stupid on me, but I keep them around in case you know I'm ever playing tennis with a girl and she needs to keep her hair out of her face. I have to already. One day. One day. Sunglasses. I think they look um, extremely douchey. I would never wear them in any walk of life. But I was surfing into the sun the other day, so if it were to give me an advantage, I might as well just suck it up and do it. Nice. Um. A stencil and some stencil. <laughs> this is this guy actually got me into the stencil. I think the bad one is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I, <laughs> purely aesthetic, doesn't add anything to my game. I just like having it around. More camera equipment, real quick selfie stick and a tripod. Again, we got to make these videos out on court, and this stuff helps with that. Some dampeners, I'm a big dampener guy. Uh, I got a, this little Wilson guy um, and the Turna Scorpion, which I hate the way it looks, but I can't argue with the practicality of it. It weaves in really well in the strings and it has great dampening effects. A couple strings here. I'm uh, gonna be playing these with these here in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned. Yonex Polytour Rev and Vocal B Square, both shaped polys. Pumped. Uh, I have an abundance of string, more than I will need for the next year. Um, I've got some like really cheap ones that I just got, some head uh, rip control and some vocal synthetic guts. These are nothing. I just have them in case of emergency. 
Selenko Hyper G. Can't wait to throw this thing in the Dunlop SX. Um, I've got a, a Wilson Multi here. Um, I do like multis for the arm friendliness. I don't know if they'll fit well with my new racket. Um, and then, woo, the Babolat RPM Rough Blast. Can't express how much I'm looking forward to throwing these in. All right, we are by no means tennis purists, if you haven't gathered that, and we blast music from time to time when on the court. It's an extreme nuisance for those around us, but we don't care. Um, so I actually get calluses on my hand, certain spots in my hand, because I grip my racket way too hard. It's a problem, um, but I've got this athletic tape that when things are getting rough, I apply to certain, uh, certain spots on my hand to add some comfort. All right, last thing I got is just a power charger in case the phone sometimes is low on battery or this speaker and I can charge it up right on court. Um, I have an eight pack racket bag and I only have two rackets in it. And yet I would still manage to fill it up. That's how much crap I take on the court. Wow. Um, my last thing, I got some eye drops for my contacts when I'm playing. Sometimes I wear my glasses, but if I'm wearing contacts and my eyes get dry, I have to have this with me. So Ben, we're bleeding money with all this tennis equipment. If you had to calculate the damage, uh, what's your best guess? Um, I would say I am all in at just under $500. I was gonna say I'm just north of $500. I think I've, uh, even though I find great deals on eBay, I've probably spent a little bit more than you. Yeah, especially if you throw in that Bose speaker. That's like $200 right there. Oh, uh, this was free. Okay. I found it. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My my father like it. Cool. Um, that's all we got at Trashman Tennis. It's all about the tennis trash we've been. Later.